We got the community day for Fennekin. I'm in Thousand Oaks. It is a special community day. I'm here for my cousin-in-law's graduation party. I always like Thousand Oaks. It's a pretty quaint place with some nice mountain views. It's halfway to Santa Barbara. A place that still has my heart. And the houses here are pretty chill. Reminds me a little bit of my parents' suburb. So I already got one shiny without incense. It seems like it'll be a pretty easy community day for me, but we'll see. I've gotten unlucky before, although from what a friend told me, they upped the odds for shinies. Somewhere in between, at least in between Torchit Community Day, which is when I got unlucky, and now. I haven't had a more unlucky Community Day than that, so I might believe him. Anyway, I think I'm going for, what is it, 125 candies? 150 candies. And two more shinies. And then I do the old evolution up, and I'll be prime. Fennekin's a good shiny. It's like silver. I think shinies have gotten better over the generations, like overall. In the sense that the shinies have more contrast to the originals. Looks like one of the Fennekins disappeared. I don't know why Mega Pinsir has been in the raids for a long time now, like the last week or more, like week and a half. Got some gifts to collect. Thank you, TT0KIII. -T it's like a mix of... Uh, the normal is zero, and then the three could be like the third. So I have these LA postcards. I think I'm all out of India ones. I think I gave those all out. I guess I didn't gather as many as I thought I did. Or I gave them away quickly. Either way. My brother took our car. It's just him, my dad, and me here at the party with others. I wonder where my brother went. Thank you, Neil B. Forzod. That's a more straightforward name. And I got the East Village mural next to where I live. <clears throat> I think the shiny Fennekin that I caught today was like the second that I encountered. So, good starting luck. We'll see. How things progress. First excellent throw of the day. I'm reading a book called Lightbringer right now. It's an advanced uncorrected proof. So it's not officially released yet. So that's pretty sweet. We got this next Fennekin. So that means we'll we'll get Froki Community Day this year, I'm sure. Because we had chest spin, I believe that was this year. So that's nice, and they can go into Scarlet and Violet, so. At least one home compatibility touches down. I've never walked around this neighborhood, even though I've come here a number of times growing up. I might have enough candy by this point. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, I'm good. I'm good on candies. Now I just need two shinies. Want.
An Empoleon raid? That's pretty cool, honestly. I don't need it shiny, but I haven't seen one of those around before. Might as well collect some gifts while I'm around here. I saw this tile art as we drove into the suburb. Interesting, a survey, interesting. Okay, I'm completely satisfied with this game. Uh, I don't know, I have to be honest on my surveys and not just put 10 for everything. Well, <clears throat> to a colleague, I mean, my friends play already, but a colleague, I don't know how likely I am to do that. Let's just say eight. Okay, easy. That was way less than 10 minutes. <laughs> You're welcome, Niantic. Well, then the journey continues. I could keep going toward the road. I've had a couple of sangrias, so I gotta be a little careful. As if I can really remember the last time I had a sangria before today. But it's kind of noisy there too, so that would be in the stream ends. So I'll stay. I'll stay in this little burb and just hope that the Fennekins shine over here. Maybe I'll show off some of the hill scenery here. They're like hill mountains, if you've ever seen those. But yeah, Fennekin Shiny is very good contrast. It's like silver gray, whereas normal Fennekin is yellow red. So it's like a gold silver kind of thing, perhaps. That's one thing Scarlet and Violet excelled at, was making Pokemon like Magnemite very steel looking, very sleek. You can tell that they're metallic. They're not just gray. And I can't say they're shiny either, but they are sleek. For all I know, Fennekin could look like that too in those games. I'm not watching the Scarlet Violet anime. I think if I have a family, I would be more inclined to watch it if I had kids who were into it. But for me, it's a new generation of Pokemon. Not like, not, not a generation one through nine, but a new, a new era of Pokemon. So even with Scar Scarlet and Violet these days, I'm reserved and I don't play it, the games. Much less watch the anime. But we'll see what happens. Weather here has been pretty overcast, pretty foggy. Last couple of days, this weekend. Doesn't feel like summer's coming. <laughs> Much less my birthday in seven days. So we got some Fennekins out there chilling in the scene in the nature part. So there's some nature stuff here. See that? That's pretty sweet. It's like very foggy, so you can't see everything, but it's still kind of cool. I think my brother just got back from his escapade. Just two more shiny Fennekins and I'll call it a community day. Something just okay. There's... No, that's that appeared like close to the house that the party is at. It's right in front of me. So yeah, that's pretty much at the house that I just exited out of. Uh... <clears throat> 
Okay, now this one's a new one. I think community days have a way of burning the images of Pokemon that you see into your skull. It's like, you see them appear so much that it's going to leave an imprint, you know. Certain images online can do that too if you stare at them for long enough. Somebody has a license plate here that says Snurlax. I think I might have checked that one. S N R R Lax. That's like Snurlax. It's kind of funny. Happy Pokemon Community Day. Presumably to them. We got some more Pokestops coming up. This is nice though, I guess. As a kid, I felt less free to walk around and explore surrounding areas while I was at family events like this. Pretty good Team Instinct representation out here. This is a this is a good place. They really uh they're really on the right side of history. I think I already checked that one. So now we're getting good spawnage. You could say I'm hooked on spawnage because I need spawns to get my shinies. <clears throat> More cars, of course, this way. So that's the price we pay. Eh? But I could cross the street here. Let's do it. It looks like there's a horse trail right here too. It's pretty cool. The stuff I never knew was here. I'll try and be efficient with this stream. It's already been some 20 minutes, I, I think. 16 minutes, 10 minutes maybe, but I'll try and be a little faster. So that's sort of on the horsey trail. So we had some good beginner's luck, but now Fennekin's playing hard to get. The shinies, at least. That Fennekin's out on the street. That poor Fennekin, yeah, it just ran away as if it knows it shouldn't be there. I think there's an ice cream truck to my right. But yes, this Lightbringer book I'm reading is the sixth book in the Red Rising series which my friend John introduced me to. So he sent me the first Red Rising book. And then another friend of mine, who I've never met in real life, but she works at a library, or a bookstore, sorry. And apparently they had an uncorrected proof of that book and she just asked if I wanted it. And I said, yeah, <laughs> sure, sure. A lot of Fennekins here. I'm starting to appreciate its design a little more just from seeing it so much. It's really, really a nice looking Pokemon, I gotta say. In X, in Pokemon X, I kinda, I don't know how I pulled this off. I might have had a friend who had Y. It might be someone watching this right now, but... I had Chestnut and Delphox. And I chose Squirtle as my Kanto starter from Sycamore. So I had a water, fire, and grass starter in X. So that was pretty cool. I've always liked starters. 
They're easy to use. They're good in game. One grows attached to it. I think I already checked that one. I could go down this horse trail. It's like no one's using it even. And there's our first non, well, there's a Tauros back there, but I'm also collecting Kanto through Hoenn Pokemon. So that also includes Johto. For this Jirachi, shiny Jirachi event. I'm pretty close to getting 385 Pokemon from Kanto. I'm not so good at remembering which ones I've checked these days already, so I just check them multiple times sometimes. But yeah, Thousand Oaks. This place kind of reminds me of Palace Verde in the sense of you could sort of see a lot of Spanish colonial influence and the architecture and the names of things. That's just California, I guess. But the colors, the white, the white missionary st villa style architecture is here. Might have been better to go that trail, honestly. The sidewalk is not very eventful. But this could be a repeat of my Torchic Community Day where I only got one shiny. I think I'll go up the trail now. It's such a short fence, I'll just hop over it here. This is some good exercise here. Let's see. Two more shinies. At least they're spawning this way. That says something. There might be snakes out here. I should be careful. A funny story is that I did run into a snake once while playing Pogo. It was right in front of me when I looked up for my phone. That really made me feel like a millennial, man. <laughs> it was just staring at me. It wasn't even moving. It was just like head up staring at me. It was like one of the trippiest experiences I've ever had. The only thing though is if I kept going this trail I was on, I would have a better chance of finding the shinies. At least it seemed that way. Now, now I'm not so sure. Now I might have to keep going down the road, a different road. Smells nice here, like pine. Yeah, I wouldn't go down this trail myself. It's kind of nice though. Nice to just look at. 
I'm a little too suburban, maybe. Although where I normally live is quite urban. <clears throat> Oak Anno 1997 tile art. Oak tile commemorating year 1997, the time Dos Vientos Ranch was built. I already got that stop, but let's get it again. <clears throat> My family might be wondering where I am now. Usually a good time to return to the party. I do like this ritual of collecting gifts that stops when I'm in a different place. Just because then I like throughout the week as I'm sending these gifts to friends, I can reflect on the place I was and I can share it with other people. And usually they'll save the postcards. I've already saved the max number of postcards, but others may not have. So they still save things like my Indian postcards. Got a biker coming up. I hope he doesn't want to battle right now. Pretty good amount of stops around here. Yeah, I don't know which one just appeared. Probably this corner one. So. A national state park coming up. Via Goleta? Could that be? I haven't walked that far. Okay, really playing hard to get here. Didn't mean to do that. Come on, there's gotta be one soon. Just statistically. Okay, guess not. This is a Torchic repeat? What's, what's going on here, Fen? There's a lot of Fennekins here. I could just set up a lure here. Tile art bench, one of the less creative stops. There's a lot right here, so. I'm in a good spawn area, just not getting the shiny spawn. See what, what, where, 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 which one? There's so many now that I think it's this one. Yeah. There's a bench here. 
that's a stop. It's just a bench. It's kind of a cool bench. It's kind of interesting. If I weren't on a mission, or a mission, then I would stop and rest there. But as they say in Harry Potter, that would be counterproductive. Come on, Fanny. We don't have to be like this, really. You were my starter in X. I liked you when others chose Greninja and sold out. Santa Monica Mountains National Recreation Area. Fairly far from Santa Monica. I don't know why I'm seeing all these Galita, Via Galetta. That's a street right here. All these signs. So it looks like a lot of the Fennecans were concentrated around that bench. More may appear here. There we go, number two, baby. <sighs> that is a good shiny. I like think the ears are kind of the same color, but the body is very different. I did have my first shiny escape the ball the first time. I just don't know if they, like, run. I've never had a shiny run for me. Hoping to keep it that way. There we go. Okay. This is the right place to go via Golita. And then I'll just evolve up and end the stream. Last catch is the hardest. And that'll be it. Fairly easy. Done within 30 minutes. 31. Now this is the part where I could get greedy, but I won't and keep going. I did that for Trico, but I'm kind of a Trico fan, so I guess that makes sense. So just I'll evolve, I'll, I guess I'll check their stats. I don't normally check stats of random captures like this. <laughs> it's a three star though, so it's a good thing I did. It is a good thing I did. All right, so that's that one. So I guess I'll evolve that two star. That's decent, okay, okay. How about this one? Is it a one star? It's massive. Two, so I got pretty good competitives. I mean, like, for me, I mean, for my level of interest. So we can just go ahead, definitely evolve this one. Let's go all the way with that one. Probably the second one I stat checked. I'll evolve up to Brakeson. The Serena Pokemon in the anime. Wow, that's a good shiny. That's like purple. That is a good shiny. That is really sick. Let's uh, all of the other one up to breaks in first before going all the way there. I think it was this one. So this this time I'm evolving them in reverse order of their CPs, but. And last but not least, got the Delphox coming up. It's a cool Pokemon. It got its own, it, I mean, 
the Kalos the starters all got signature moves that then got co-opted by other Pokemon. So Delphox got Mystical Fire, which I would imagine it gets if I evolve it right now, which I did. But it's a wizard. Like, that's cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, Blast Burn. Yeah, they just give all the starters, those Hyper Beam Elementals. Okay, that's fine. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching, and happy trails from Via Goleta, Santa Monica, apparently, <laughs> and Thousand Oaks, California.